how many are going to get on I greet you this morning in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Let us center ourselves in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you again for this day. And we thank you, dear God, for another opportunity to call upon your name. As we celebrate Christ the King Sunday, moving into a new season of Advent, we pray now, dear God, that we will allow the spirit of the living Christ to come alive in our lives. Help us, dear God, to be born again, to be renewed as we're in a new season of a Christian year. We pray, dear God, for Reverend Muriel Scott. We pray, dear God, for her sister. And we pray, dear God, for the Jenkins family in the midst of bereavement. And dear God, all those that are sick and shut in, speak a ring of word. Now as your word is proclaimed, open our ears to hear and our hearts to receive your word. Help us to know that Christ is the truth. In Jesus' name we bring you thanks. Amen. Amen. And amen. To God be the glory. Somebody want to give the Lord some praise. Christ is the truth. My beloved friends, everyone is in search of truth. Truth which defines who we are and whose we are. We desire truth in our churches where we worship God in spirit and in truth. Can I get a witness? Truth in our family life where persons will not just say I'm here for you, but prove it when life becomes a little challenging and when life becomes a roller coaster. Truth in our relationships as to whether or not this person truly loves me or just buying time. Anybody been there before? My beloved friends, we all expect the truth. Oftentimes we see the truth from some persons. For some will stay up all night long trying to find out the so-called truth. Only to find out where the get us, it was a half-truth. Tell your neighbors and neighbor don't get part of the story. But make sure you get it all. Can I get a witness? How many of you know half-truth will get us in trouble? Can I get a witness? Tell your neighbor you always search for the truth. As one writer stated, some people think that there is no absolute truth. Truth for them is simply what they think, what they feel, what they hear, or even what they smell. Everything for them is relative, and what is true for them might not be true for others. We have seen the scenario play out in Washington with 45. We have seen how 45 tried on so many occasions. 
people. But Jesus, he did not believe. Glory be to God, just in being high. But Jesus believed in being low. Amen. Amen. For Pilate, All right. it just wasn't logical for Jesus, right. the Christ, to be the king. Now, how many of you know sometimes 
I know I'm going to get in trouble and call me next week. How many of you know sometimes we are aware of the truth, but we act like we don't see the truth? Learn how to 
lot of celebrating. Yeah. Secondly, we learn through our life experiences that Jesus Christ is the truth. All of us have heard the testimonies of others. We have reviewed the biblical witness of others. But there is nothing like knowing Christ for ourselves. Can I get a witness? My beloved friends, it's not enough to hear about how Jesus redeemed the woman at the wedding. It's not enough to hear about how Jesus transformed the thief on the cross. It's not enough to hear about how Jesus made the lame to walk. It is not enough to hear about how Jesus gave sight to those who were blind. It's not enough to hear about how Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. We must experience the redeeming grace of Jesus the Christ for ourselves. We must experience the transforming power of Jesus the Christ for ourselves. As one writer said, experience is the great and the best teacher. Do I have a witness in here this morning? How many of you know we know who he is? It makes all the difference in the world. Once we experience Christ in all of his fullness, we'll be able to grow as disciples. We will become stronger and stronger in the faith. We will become witnesses to what God has done through his son, Jesus Christ. That's why John was able to say, I am a witness that he is the Christ. Jesus told Pilate he came to bear witness to the truth. The only way we can bear witness to the truth is by having an encounter with Jesus the Christ. Somebody in Canaan this morning, you can testify that he is a healer. Somebody in Canaan can testify that the Lord is your keeper. Somebody in Canaan this morning can testify that he is a burden bearer. Somebody in Canaan can testify that when you're down and out and you don't know which way to turn, that he is a sustainer of life. Somebody in Canaan can testify when everybody else turns away. God steps in and God says, I love you. Can I get away with that? Somebody in Canaan can
Amen. Amen.